Hey everybody, welcome back. Bonsai Butterfly here with another Fallout 4 challenge. This is the Island Girl challenge. This is our gal here, man. This is Millie. Millie is here. She is ready to go. We are on survival mode here. Then the challenge is basically this. Can I, at level 1, go to Spectacle Island, take over that settlement, and use that settlement as my only settlement to supply all the food and water required to complete the entire game. Is it possible? Can you do it? I don't know. Let's find out. I think you can. So, I have taken the alternate star in the game, and I have brought us as an Atom Cat. Now, as an Atom Cat, when you start off, you get 25 mini nukes. You get a nuke launcher you get t60 armor and this beautiful adam cats clothing this cool leather jacket yeah with the adam cats insignia but the reason why i took it is because it is the closest location to spectacle island and we're gonna have to swim all the way across the island all right so in the interest of keeping this playthrough um somewhat manageable what I want to do first and foremost, ah, I will explain that in a minute. Um, let's see. Yeah, there it is. That has been saved. I do have a quick save, guys, because I can't have, I can't have the game keep on putting me back to a bed in the beginning. There's no bed on Spectacle Island to save on. So, we're on the clock right now. Food, water, everything is going to be necessary. Now, well, let's see what we have. What I did buy um, is a telephone because in my experience there is no circuitry anywhere to be found anywhere. <laughs> even even checking everything else, I have looked all over the Commonwealth, especially in the water area here. I couldn't find a hot plate. I couldn't find a telephone. No circuitry whatsoever and it is absolutely necessary. So I bought this from Blue Jay Who's one of the Atom Cats? And it's the only thing I purchased. And I purchased it using one of my Fat Man Mini Nukes. My little Mini Nukes. I have fewer now. And we're going to be massively over encumbered. We're going to be extremely hungry on the way over there. So, what does this mean? Well, Island Girl cannot leave Spectacle Island. She cannot have any... Well, she can leave Spectacle Island. But she cannot come back to the mainland once we leave it. Until we have a sustainable settlement on spectacle island that can basically provide us with all the food we need to complete the rest of the game so this isn't going to be a really long challenge it's basically i'm curious to see whether or not we can do this and i think we can and i'm going to show you how so first of all we're on the clock and i did drop off all these mini nukes right here they are there's 24 of them it's going to make us over encumbered um and it's going to make for a really long However, I don't have to pick all of them up. I'm going to, but I'm going to drop a few off right here at the shore. Actually, where I should drop it off is in the boat or on an island somewhere, but I can't do that. So, we're going to keep them. We want them all. Now, the Fat Man launcher I did drop off at a workbench here at the Adam Cat's garage. The apparel is the only thing we have is the Adam Cat's jacket. The 8 is what we're going to need. We're going to take a Radex right now. Okay, and we are going to swim for it. We're going to have to go. Let's go. <laughs> She's thirsty. Come on, girl, let's go. Now, this is going to take a long time to swim over here. It's a long swim, guys. We're going to go toward the houses there on Spectacle Island. Where we're going to have to get eventually is down to that boat right there. But... That's a dangerous location. We're going to be taking damage. We're going to be taking rads this whole swim over there. And we're going to be horribly disadvantaged when we get there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am going to use yeah. some quick... Yeah, see that? We're taking damages from being over encumbered. And especially at this level, it's a lot. And I don't have a lot of stim packs. Um... Manual quick saving and auto saves are disabled, but that's not true. I have a mod. Guys, all the mods that I'm using in this playthrough or this challenge are listed down below, episode one. So, if you want to try it or if you see something you like, let me know. 
Or enjoy it yourself. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go. Come on. This is a slow swim. She cannot swim fast. Um, taking those medications will basically, if I take more Radex, if I take a stim pack, I'm going to get hungry. I'm going to get tired. We're going to get thirsty. We're going to be in bad shape. But we're probably going to have to need to do one or the other. I do know of a water source that's fairly easy to get to. So, we'll see how that goes. Ah, well, how have you all been? It's been a while since I've done a video. And the reason is I'm moving and I'm spring cleaning. So spring cleaning and moving and packing and all that stuff. Yes, leaving my home in here in the valley in beautiful, sunny central Pennsylvania to a spot a little further north along the mighty Susquehanna River. But not in the floodplain, guys. But it kind of inspired me. I'm like, the Susquehanna River here is about a mile wide. <sighs> and I thought, you know, can I swim across that? Yeah, you, you, you can. You can swim across it. You can, in the summertime in August, you can, you can walk across it. I don't recommend it, but I've done it. All right, we're taking some rads. We're carrying too much. We're taking damage. When I get pretty low, it's going to get pretty bad by the time we get there, guys. Hang on a second. I'm going to sneeze. Alrighty then, here we go, here we go. So, yeah, Millie is the island girl. She's gonna come across here to the island, man. She's gonna lay the Ross Clad and freaking Meyer lyrics, man. She's gonna wipe them out. Now, as you folks know, you've played this game before, I know you have, right? You know that Spectacle Island, to get the settlement here, you have to do a couple of things. One, you have to kill the Myrler Queen. You have to flip the switch. Oh, no. We're going to have to take some uh, meds here. Another Radix. You have to kill the Myrler Queen. You have to eliminate the Myrlurks from the island. To do that, there's a, a, a switch you have to flip on a boat on the south end of the island. And another switch in a little shack that sends out a pulse that repu that pushes all of the Myrlurks off the island. Until you do that, you can't access the workshop. If you can't access the workshop, you can't put up any food, you can't have any sleep. Because there's no beds on the island here. Alright, we're getting close. I can see it. The weather's clearing up. That's good. Now, as you can see, there are several floating locations here. Um, we're going to explore those. Once we're not so susceptible to the radiation out here on the island, in the water. And to do that, we need to kill that Myrler Queen, because as soon as we do, we're going to level up twice. Yeah, we'll get to all the specifics and specs of her in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, she misses her no power armor. Now, here's the thing. Oh boy, so yeah, now it's time. It's time to take a stim pack, get that rat away, and go. Yep, you can hear the pounding. Her, ah, her health was getting a little low there. Now that puts us on very thirsty and hungry and tired. If we keep taking rad treatments, which we're probably going to have to do, we're almost there, we're getting there. We're not quite there. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so as those rads are going away, they're also increasing, but the health is coming up a little bit. There is a place to get water on the island that I can get to fairly safely, and I'm going to do that as soon as I can. However, we're going to need AP. Um, and if I get overtired, we're not going to have AP. So I'm going to try try and let that uh, those hit points go down as much as possible. Now, on a playthrough, on a test run... I just didn't take any medication whatsoever and just swam across here. <laughs> but I dropped off most of the mini nukes. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I'm not relinquishing. I'm not giving up those mini nukes. I'm keeping them because it's the only weapon that I'm going to have immediately available to me. Is that is that Fat Man launcher? So we're going to keep on going. Um, yeah. Yeah, as I said, this is kind of inspired by uh, the Susquehanna River being a mile wide in my location. And, uh, yeah, 
Ooh. Um, we're taking a lot of damage here, but the damage can be ameliorated if we can make it to shore. Look at that over there. Do you, you guys know what that is, right? You know what that is? That's a Myrler King. Yeah, that's a Myrler King. We don't want to come up on shore near him. Now we're taking a lot of rads. We should probably take another rad X. We're still going to take radiation damage. We're still going to take radiation damage. Where is that Myrler King? It looks like it's gone away. Yeah, that's why I'm coming way up on this part of the island. Now, we could have landed on another part of the island, which is a little bit closer, but then we got a deal with that. So, let's, uh, <laughs> let's not... Oh, man. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to take another stim pack. And now we're dehydrated. And I am going to drop those mini nukes as soon as we get out of the water. I'm going to drop most of them. And then I'm going to carry them up in a special way. Some may call it an exploit. Me? I call it being smart. Here we are. We've apparently reached our destination. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up that hill, get up that hill. Pretty low hit points. Pretty low hit points. Guys, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Pretty worried. Pretty worried. We can get in here. We can drop off all of our goodies. Drop them, drop them, drop them. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's seven of them. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Drop off the telephone as well. Um, drop off the Adam Cat jeans and stuff. Yeah. Okay, that gives us 84 of 105. Now, we're tired. If we get any more tired, our carry weight's gonna suffer for it. So, now we've got a nice gun there, but, uh, you know, no bullets for it. There's some 10 mil rounds in there. We'll come back and get this stuff, you know. Don't have a bobby pin. Alright, so. First things first let's check this guy he has a tato grab it i'm taking the pipe pistol and the 38 rounds i'm taking that as well for now that's it okay i don't want to get over encumbered or, or have too much stuff on me now uh there is a water source up this hill here let's see what's in this wonder glue i'm taking we're gonna be very quiet very, very, very quiet. I'm not overtired, but look at the rads, my friends. Look at the rads. Now, I don't care about that. It, it doesn't matter whether I have one hit point or a full hit point bar at this point. Um, if I take any hits from any of the uh, enemies here on Spectacle Island, I'm dead. It's, it's one shot. They'll, they'll, they'll kill me in one shot. So, there's some rad away. This is totally random, by the way. You just don't know what you're going to get in that container. So I want to be a little bit careful. And as you can see, we are extremely thirsty. Uh, so what I want to do right here is get some water. The rad X has worn off. Now, this isn't going to increase our hit points because it just isn't. We don't have any way to do that. And it doesn't matter at this point. <clears throat> But what I need is AP. So I'm going to drink, 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 drink. Because we're going to need to sprint. And we're going to need a few other things to occur. Let's get down. Let's get hidden. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. This is, this is the hardest part. The sun is setting. We don't want to wait too long to do this. So what I'm going to do right away is, because we're so hungry, and I don't think it's going to matter unless I find some corn along the way, which I might find. And if I do, I'm going to eat to try to get a little bit more fed. We're not too far off well-fed. <clears throat> now, as you recall, that Myrler King was over there on the beach. We don't want to go that way. <laughs> no, we don't. You sure you don't want to go that way? I'm positive. So, 
Here we go. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do, I'm going to quick save. I do not want to start back at the Adam Tat's Cat's Garage again, my friends. For the sake of my sanity and your viewing pleasure. Pleasure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. All right. Oh, here comes the fun part. Now, <clears throat> that's, <clears throat> pardon me. That right there is the shack that we have to come back to. But first, we have to get down to the ship. And we need to be very, very, very quiet at first. And as soon as the enemies emerge, we run. And they automatically pop out. Right there. <laughs> Did you see it? On the right-hand side of the screen? Yeah, if you didn't, rewind and take a look again, man. Because, uh... Yeah, that little bugger came out of the ground. He's up there. He's going to stay up there. Okay. So now we've made it to the ship. This is where we need to be. Okay. We're still in danger. But I don't think they'll come in here. Right. Caution. Good. Good, good, good. So we're going to pick up this fat man launcher and we're going to drop off uh, some of the stuff that we picked up along the way. I'm going to drop that pipe pistol. We are going to drop everything else like the wonder glue. We're going to drop off ooh, uh, one mini nuke. That'll work. That'll get us to where we need to be. Six mini nukes should do the trick. Well, if we need them, we're going to have to come back down. I hear something out there. So we're not going to move. <laughs> now, it's totally... Unfortunately, it's totally random whether that uh, that Mirelurk is actually going to follow you or not. All right? We need to get out of uh, caution. We need to be hidden before we do anything. I don't want that thing finding me. I don't know where it is. I can hear it out there rattling its, you know, chitinous shells. You know? It did chase me down the hill. Flip that, and that's going to cue the Mirelurk Queen. So let's quickly get up here. Yeah, there you go. There you go, baby. Now. <laughs> get that fat man ready to go. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, some other things we're going to want. We're going to want this Molotov cocktail. That mine is incredibly important, guys. The yes. luck bobblehead? You betcha. Nothing else. So. All right, the fat man is ready to go. I'm also going to have that frag mine ready to go as well. We're not going to use that right away, but you'll see when we're going to use it. Let's get our launcher ready to go. Where is the queen? Right there. Right. Okay. Now, we want to remain hidden. Didn't even hit the Marler queen. Oh, boy. We're in caution. We're going to chill. Didn't hit the hunter there, too. See that hunter running around? Look at the little skeleton by their name. I mean, that's, uh... Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. And I don't know where the Mirelurk Queen is. There's another Mirelurk running around over there. Get hidden. Right for that EP to come back up. It doesn't matter how many hit points we have. The EP is the most important thing right now. So we have four more mini nukes left. There are four enemies out there. Now the one thing I do not want to have happen is to have those little, those little miniature uh, mute crabs or mutt crabs, whatever you want to call them, stepping up to me. 
Because I got no way to repel them. Oh, that's right. I know it's getting dark, guys. I know. <clears throat> it's getting hard to see. I gotta find them. I gotta find her. Something. <laughs> but I don't think it was our girl. Yeah, she's coming around the boat now. You need to really be careful and quiet. Quiet. It does not know where I am. We cannot let it know where I am. I do not want all those little mute crabs of hers running after me. I don't want hunters coming in this door. You know? So we have to be hidden. We have to remain calm. Calm. Zen. Ah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I think... Because sometimes that queen will run, circumnavigate the boat. Or circambulate. Circambulate. What a wonderful word that is. All right. We're still hidden. That hurt. We have two more shots. <clears throat> We're under caution. So we need to chill. Just remain here. We don't want that Myler Queen to see us. I hear all kinds of noises. <laughs> it's terrifying. I'm terrified! The worst thing is that I have to go downstairs to get that other mini nuke. Uh-oh, maybe that was an oversight on my part. I thought we could kill her off in, like, just a few shots, but, uh, you know. Come on, turn around, baby. There you go. Ah! Oh. Let's see if we can get her. Oh, 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 oh! Almost! I gotta go downstairs. Look at that hunter. Yeah, 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 that's what's worrying me. Yeah. This is not going swimmingly. <clears throat> so, I need to get back downstairs. Take that pipe pistol. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah. Ooh. Nearly seen there. Under some severe caution. This is our last shot. And then we gotta deal with the other lurky lurks. Which we didn't kill. <laughs> So what I'm going to try and do is see if I can line them all up in one spot so that I can get them all in one one big lump of joy. I can't kill her right away here. But then there's the other ones I can't kill. I want to get them all kind of in one big old happy Meyer Lurk join us. Yeah. Yeah, see though there's those two over there? They're gonna be a problem. Uh, I did kill one, you can see it kinda there. But for me to get to that shack, I'm going to have to go past those two, somehow. Yeah...
okay. See, that one's there. Here comes that other hunter. He's coming over there. Let's see if I can get them all bunched up. That's probably not, it's probably a pipe dream, and I'm not sure how I'm going to proceed. If that happens, because on that beach on that side, there's a Myler King as well. Yeah, and I got to get up to that shack. You can barely see the light of it. I bet you can probably barely see the Myler Queen at this point. There we go, there's those two. Look how far away it is. Um. <laughs> mm. La 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 la. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. <clears throat> now, 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 yes, 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 come. Oh, I'm just gonna take this last shot. No. Oh, I should take it right now. That should do. Are we can level up twice? Yes, we are. We still have some trouble out there. But one of the things I want to do right away as we level up here. Wow. Um, is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna level up. Now there are still, I think, a couple of uh, baddies out there. Leveling up pretty good. No, the question is that I take out that hunter also. Oh my goodness. Yeah, two, two, two level ups. So, on an island, uh, we're going to want to take Aqua Girl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I would take Idiot Servant, but there's still Mire Lurks between me and that shack. The only way I'm going to get there is if I sneak. And I need to get my sneak up as high as possible. So, let's do that instead. Yeah. Okay. So, now, let's take a look at what we have here. We have that Fragmine ready to go. We have the Fat Man all on there. Okay. So, now, <laughs> what we need to do... Let's take a look around. I think I got them all. I think I did. I I think I, I think with that one last shot. Oh no, something's wibble wibbling. I think it's that. No. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right. Well. That's going to call for a Molotov. It's so low. It's the only one left between me and my destination. <laughs> am I going to do this? Yes, I am. It's dead. Okay. I don't know where the rest of the Meyer Lurks are. They're dead. I'm not looking for them. That's good stuff. Okay. So, next step. We flipped the switch. Now, and I know it's dark, guys. I know it's dark. It's dark for me, too. I want that frag mine ready to go. So we're following this wire here. You can see it. We gotta follow that up to the little shack on this hill up here. Now, there is a mire lurk between us and there. And it's gonna be on the left hand side. But. 
Actually, I might have killed that Mirelur because it chased me. Let's see, we'll see, we'll see. No, I don't see any wibble wibbles. Wild corn. Alright, so. If I can get well fed here, that'd be great. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna eat that wild corn, take a little bit of rad damage from it, but that's all right. Uh, any more here? There is more here, but... That's what we call sneaky. Okay, so, now. Uh, I want to get the frag mine ready to go, right down from here, right. So I'm gonna chuck that little bugger right there. Oh. Why is why are the mines exploding on me? Why are the mines exploding on me? Did I just throw it right out on a on a on a on a mire lurk? All right, that's why I saved. Now, okay, we're back, we're back. Uh, inventory. Uh, Molotov. Let's see if we can hit that thing again. Yes, we can. <laughs> That's why. Now you know why. Now you know why I quick save, guys. Because if I hadn't, you know where we'd be? We'd back at the, uh, we'd be back at the garage. The, uh, Adam Cat garage after having done all this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, I'm not even going to mess with that. Uh... Like I said, we need to get up here. This is taking longer than I thought. And it's not permadeath. What? You mean it's not permadeath? No, my God, no. Come on, guys. It's a it's a survival challenge. I, I can't do this permadeath. Neither can you. You try it at home. You try it. All right, so this time, right, I'm gonna be super sneaky. Make sure that I did level up. I did. All right. Uh, the thing is, this is kind of important uh, that I get this mine down. And I, I, every time I do it, I've been throwing it right on the mirelurk, which detonates it immediately. But the problem is. Okay, if you hit this switch, you're going to be immediately tacked, right? So what I want to do, I guess, is I've got some, I've got f four shots in the pipe pistol. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> right, okay. Flip the switch. Yep. Now you know why I was using the frag mine. The frag mine will keep that thing away just long enough that I won't get immediately destroyed like that. Okay. <laughs> so the frag mine's important, but if you throw the frag mine right on the Meyer Lurk, well. You're in trouble. So we need to basically be careful here. Okay. Now you saw there was, uh, there was some armor there, but that's not going to help. All right, next. Uh, you need this. You have to have it. But don't throw it right on the Mirelurk this time. Also... Maybe we should think about putting that armor on. Just in case. Maybe. Maybe there's a way I can get through this. Maybe you'll just continue dying over. No. On my test. When I tested this. Um. Alright. This time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quick save right here.
Yep, see why you need that? It delays the Mire Lurk just enough. It delays the Mire Lurk just enough that the tone is high enough that it scares it away. If you don't use the mine, it'll come straight in and you saw it, it'll one-shot you. Right? Now, the Mire Lurks are all spooked, they're all running off. So, now, we can actually use the workshop, right? So let's transfer anything that we have that we don't really want to carry around with us at this point. Right? Um, the meat, we'll cook that up later. Uh, the potato, we don't need. Right? We don't need the 308 yet, though there is a, a rifle for it uh, down at the, uh, the hillside. So, yeah. We're still under caution, so we want to be a little bit careful. <clears throat> oh man, that was that was something else. Yeah, you have to have everything in all your little ducks in a row. Um, okay, I'm hidden. Do I have enough AP? Yeah, see that thing. Look at that, Mario like Hunter. They're still gonna detect you, but I think, I think they're not gonna attack. So, what we're gonna do now, is make a break for it. <laughs> you saw that Mario lurk right behind me there? I think we've done it, folks. Oh, Spectacle Island is now ours. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> look at that. Spectacle Island is now for Millie. Millie owns Spectacle Island. Now, the rest of the Meyer Lurks will basically start filtering off the island. They'll go. That tone keeps them away. And as time goes by, they'll remain away. You have an opportunity here, if you have enough powerful weapons, to shoot some of them and kill them to get some food. But with a pipe pistol, 38, even a 308 rifle at this point, we don't have enough ammunition and we don't have enough thing. We can't do it. The only thing I want to do at this point, you see, is uh, one thing we need to do just to make it all official-like. Grab that. Um... And we're going to go into the workshop. Yes, I know how a workshop works, my friend. And we're going to make a bed. If I can't. Not enough cloth, huh? We can change that. We're going to go over here. We're going to take this. Uh, the undershirt and jeans. We're going to take the undershirt and jeans and we're going to Throw them out onto the floor then. One cloth, is that enough? No? Well, what else do we have here? I'll take that. Put the light on. Come on, what are you doing, Bunsa? I can't see anything. Duct tape. Yeah, that might be enough. Now, sometimes there's a ghoul, or at least there used to be a ghoul. I don't know if that's leveled or what. I need a bed. I need a bed, guys. Now, there are some other dead people around, but let's see if we can do it now. I have two cloth. It's just not going to be. How much do I need? Five. Okay. All right. Sorry about this, guys. It's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to. 
But, uh, let's go up here. I think there's dead folk around here. Should grab a bit of water, but first... Look at that thing. Look at him. Look at him. He won't attack. See? He's learned to respect the human. I think. <laughs> I, I kind of hope. What do you got there? You got that, that, the cigar box. What does that have in it? Has enough cloth to make it possible. Yeah. What are you wearing? Oh, you got a melon. That's good. We want that. And we'll take all that too. Yeah, as like I said, there's there's still gonna be Mario lurks here and there. Like you just saw that one there in the dark, and that was kind of scary looking. At level one, two, or three, doesn't matter. Right, right. Let's uh, let's get on scrap mode here. Let's get a nice bed for old Millie. All right, Mill Mill. There you go. Right, we're gonna probably scrap this too. Yeah, the Abraxo can wait. But now, there we go, guys. That's it for this episode. A little bit longer than most of my own, but it's the first episode, and I wanted to introduce the, the basic idea and to show you what happens if you don't do exactly what you're supposed to. We were down to our last mini nuke, right? And placing that, placing that little frag mine at the proper space gave us just enough time for the sound to take effect on the Meyer Lurks. And so we didn't get one shot like you saw what happened. Okay, so that's all the time I have. What I'm going to do between episodes now is I'm going to sleep till morning, rest up, drink up, plan, and then, and then I'm going to show you what we do from there. I'm not going to scrap the island yet. There's some other things I want to do first, and we'll be showing you in the next episode exactly what that entails. All right, well, that's it for me. I want to thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you can. And until next time, Bonsai Butterfly signing off.